Hi, my name is Brian Smith, and this is part six of the Rail for Edge video series. In this video, I'll cover how to configure automatic updates on a Rail for Edge system. I've built a new Rail for Edge system using the original image from video one that has a commit hash that starts with CBF. There is an update available for this image that hasn't been installed yet. The configuration for automatic updates is located in Etsy RPM OS Tree D dot com. The automatic update policy setting has three possible values. The setting defaults to none, which disables automatic updates. It can also be set to check, which will cause the system to show available updates when RPM OS tree status is run. And the third option is stage, which will cause the system to automatically download and unpack the update, and on the next reboot of the system, boot to the updated image. I'll start by setting the automatic update policy to check. I'll then run RPM OS tree reload to reload the RPM OS tree configuration. And finally, I'll start and enable the RPM OS tree D automatic timer with systemctl. I'll run RPM OS tree status again, and at the top it will show that the automatic updates are set to check and that the timer was last run five seconds ago. Also note that it now lists an available update at the bottom. With the update policy set to check, it doesn't actually download the update to the system, it only shows that it is available when we run RPM OS tree status. Let's take a look at the systemd timer in more detail. I'll go ahead and cat the timer file so we can take a look at the details. By default, the update check will be done one hour after the system boots, and then daily after that. I can see when the timer will next be run by running systemctl list timers, which shows that the next run will be in 23 hours. Next, I'll cover how to use the stage automatic update policy. The stage option will actually cause the available update to be automatically downloaded, unpacked, and staged on the system. With this option, everything with the update is automated except for the reboot to actually activate the update. Remember that rel for edge updates don't change the running system, so there is no impact to the environment until the system is rebooted, at which point it will automatically boot off the updated image. To use the stage option, I'll edit the Etsy RPM OS tree.com file and set the automatic update policy to stage. I'll then run RPM OS tree reload to reload the configuration. Remember that the RPM OS tree D automatic timer runs daily, so I could wait another 23 hours for the update to automatically stage, or I can go ahead and manually start the RPM OS tree D automatic service with systemctl to start the process immediately, which I'll go ahead and do. If I quickly run a RPM OS tree status, it'll show a busy state and that the RPM OS tree D automatic service is currently running. I'll run RPM OS tree status again, and at this point it lists the state as idle and the updated image starting with the 807 hash is at the top, which indicates it will be booted by default at the next reboot. To clarify again, no changes have been made on the running system and we'll need to reboot in order to activate the updated image. So I'll go ahead and reboot with a systemctl reboot command and I'll skip the video ahead a few seconds to give the system time to reboot. Okay, I'll go ahead and connect back to the system over SSH, and then I'll sudo back to the root account and run RPM OS tree status. The asterisk next to the updated 807 image indicates that we booted from the updated image. I'll run systemctl list timers, which shows that the RPM OS tree D automatic timer will next run in 58 minutes. In this video, I covered how to configure RHEL for Edge with automatic updates. Thanks for watching the video and I hope you have a great rest of your day.